It's the strength of Gragas. Yeah, well. His ultimate has always been great, which is one of the reasons why if he's anywhere near viability, he ends up in the pro scene. Absolutely, and he's been relevant pretty much every season, at least for a small bit since season one. So we'll find out how well Chaser does this time in kill contribution as we jump into game number two. Against yeah. Sonar with flash up. There's almost no way to do it, especially since he's been itemizing for MR. Well, this lane, though, there's the depth charges. Captain Jack charges forward with the Valkyrie. He gets the Foster spot, but he can't get rockets. It's Vivid's right there. There's a flash forward. Can he get the kill? Explosive cast comes in from Chaser. And Vivid just getting caught behind a little bit, takes a couple extra hits. Meanwhile, Soul has to flash away from danger. And I think what happens is, like, somebody picks it in scrims. Uh, well, as I talked about, Oh, Chaser well, Chase is going to get caught with a chain of corruption. He's locked in between four members of Spenu. That's a Evelyn good kill. There have been major jungle changes. Oh, Kuzan gets caught right on the equalizer. Here comes Vivid. Kuzan has to use his petrifying gaze, but a good kill from Spenu as they pick that one up. And Trace is just going to have to back out after the teleport completes. Nice. Gank. But as Meganar is down for now, I mean, Spenno doesn't really need to be too scared, but they're taking too much time, giving Chaser time to catch up. Spenno a little bit too scared from this one. They're going to secure the dragon. Now they need to back out. I don't know if Vivid's going to make it out alive. He's just going to go down. Uh -oh. uh, Spenno scared of their own situation as Trace comes in. Meganar is available. Flash blown from catch two. Both top laners are here. The rage meter at about half for Trace, so that's in pretty that's in a pretty good place. Now catch has been caught and he gets hooked back. There's the ultimate coming in and the equalizer goes down across the board. Kuzan can't flash over the wall. He gets caught. Meanwhile, Trace chasing down nuclear though, and he gets the kill with the stun, and now he's on to Sassin. So the two carries being zoned out from Spendo. Captain Jack is meanwhile still alive. There's the slow, and does the body slam come in? There's the pulverize, and there's the hook, there's the body slam, and the phosphorus bomb for the kill. It's Captain Jack gets the Sheen-empowered auto attack. But no one there to back him up. All right, well, they got the hit onto Kuzan. He's right there, and there's a Petrified fight gaze onto one member as Nuclear backs out just one step to avoid getting stunned. And Trace comes in in Meganar form, but he's not going to have an opportunity to use his ultimate. The poke coming in from Sassin over the wall. But does slow him down. This would knock Sassin, the piercing shot, not... Didn't want to save it for the cooldown. Didn't get the damage either. So now Generic Green Wings, I mean, they've swapped sides and the fight has to happen, but here's the right floor from Vivid and he gets the knockoff, but it's onto Trace. Trace is right where he wants to be in front of the entire enemy team. The Equalizer not really doing too much as the corruption comes in from Sauce and it's not going to go on to the carries of the enemy team. Kuzan takes a lot of damage, but Soul not able to do anything for his teammates and Nuclear gets caught after Sauce goes down. And does everyone get out alive from the generic green wings? It looks like it. Che, the only one near death, but Chaser gonna keep him safe. The summoner heal, not able to give Chaser the kill, but Captain Jack picks up a triple. No, Chaser's 100% oh, killed. Checking that right away. <laughs> <laughs> the dream is dead, Chum. Oh man, <laughs> Captain Jack might actually even get it this time because of his KDA. Uh, Captain Jack is playing these team fights really well, yeah. but that was a desperation engage from Spenu and they put all their CC down onto a Meganar and it got absolutely crushed. I mean, yeah. Uh, Kuzan has some tankiness now, at least with the Rylai, so he's doing better in that regard. Oh, here we go. There's another Pulverize. That's a good one on Captain Jack, and Nuclear actually gets the kill this time around. Chaser sticking around, and Catch coming in from the back, but he actually gets hooked right back into the enemy team. The Equalizer coming in. Again, only lands on the tanks of the enemy team. Chaser goes forward, puts the barrel down. Doesn't have explosive cast though, so there's the Captain Jack and the Bloodthirster. Yeah, very there's efficient. There's the Righteous Glory, he runs forward. Yes. Only got five people up here though. Oh, oh wow, nuclear. nuclear gets caught and cash right there in the middle. <laughs> that was just. To get this. Oh, I don't I feel uh... like Varus was a little late because he was too busy trying to clear it. The AD carry should have come first. I mean, Soul could have oh, come a little bit later. All right, there they go. All five are there in time, though. The generic Greenways will not accept this, and Che pulls Vivid back there. It's so a chain of corruption not hitting anyone, Chaser, and there's Chaser. the flash four from oh. Kuzan. An explosive cast actually keeps Nuclear in stage, but Trace is going to keep him alive. Sazen has to hightail it out of there with the Yomu's Ghost Blade. Nuclear gets stuck with this Nar, gets pulled back. Luden's Echo activating on that one, too, from Kuzan. And Catch and Sazen, the only ones alive. Man. 
just can't figure what Spendo can do. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the answer. The charge forward just gets interrupted entirely by the Death Stretch. Captain Jack putting out some free damage, dodges the Chain of Corruption. He's eventually going to get chained a little bit from the secondary proc and Chaser just zoning out people alongside Trace. And Captain Jack finally Valkyries forward after he gets a couple of kills. He'll get a double. And Trace just chasing after the enemy. He just flashes forward for the ultimate, doesn't even need to pick up his house. As he goes for it, that is a monstrous gnar in the front lines, and the ace going to Captain Jack with the triple kill, and the Jinnar Green Wings will be able to secure the win in game two to get another W in their match history. That's right, and that'll put them up to three and one overall, even though they have had a softer schedule. And again, Sonic Boom from Spenu, not picking up a game, but at least looking co very competitive in one of them. Yeah, well, good game. Uh, by generic green wings and Spenu, I, you know, I think you're hitting the nail on the head, Machi, when you say that they have good ideas, they have good compositions for the early game. They just need to figure out how to continue that synergy towards the later portion and how to work against the enemies. And I, a lot of that, we see that with new teams every time, is that they just don't have experience playing longer games. Because usually, you know, if they stop amateur, other amateur teams, it's going to be 20, 25 minutes. You know, when you play solo here, you're not going to get the same experience. So well, we'll see how they do as the season moves on forward. Yeah, much cleaner game from Jinair that time around as well. Not falling behind in the mid game, but I'm waiting for, for Spenu to actually start taking some series here because they are definitely better than their record indicates. And they've